Hey everybody, I'm back over here at Legends the Barbershop. Um, so today I'm going to talk about building your clientele. So for those of you who watched the video on barbers or barbershop owners who are looking for barbers, this one is uh, this one's directed at the barbers who work for these guys. Listen, don't wait for people to walk through the door. Like, I, this is new thing where everybody is too cool for school to pass out flyers, pass out cards. They're afraid people are going to think they're desperate. They're afraid that people are going to think that you can't cut if you're doing that. Man, don't worry about it. Get out there, pass out cards. If you're sitting there waiting for people to find you on Instagram or Google your barbershop, that's not a good look. I mean, if you're working for somebody and you're waiting for them to do all the work, all the footwork for you, you're not actually building your clientele either. And that's one thing that makes a barber really a more experienced barber, a seasoned barber, more desirable to a shop is if he has a clientele. That's what they want to know, that you're going to be able to to keep your business going. That means getting out. It means talking to people. It means passing out flyers without any sort of inhibition don't be afraid you never know what that could become uh and to all you people out there that clown barbers for passing out flyers and think they're desperate or already got a haircut well obviously if he's passing you a flyer or a card he can tell that you already get your haircut and he's offering you a chance to test out his services which may be better than the ones you're getting already so you know, you can share this as well, barbers, if you're running into that kind of issue with people. Because I, I run into it all the time where I pass out a flyer and the person says, Already got a cut, can't you tell? I'm like, obviously you got a cut, you idiot. That's why I'm passing you a flyer because I can see you get your hair cut. You're, the, you're my, my target market. But anyway, I don't let that discourage me, man. I still pass out flyers. You see, I'm still shooting YouTube videos. I ain't got a lot of subscribers. That I don't really care about that. But I just wanted to send that message out to you guys. Get some cards. Get some flyers. Pass them out. It's not just about Snapchat and Instagram, bro. It's, just, it's not. It's just not there yet. Keep on doing that. Um, and if you have any questions about it or anybody have anything they want to add to that, please do. Because I'm looking for more um, sort of back and forth conversation about this stuff to really get people to understand that we can still you the flyers in the in the cards are still working guys it still works don't sit around all day um knowing you got a, a bus station or a train station right next to your shop and you ain't going to talk to nobody there's some people that don't walk past your shop they're, they're going past another route and they just waiting for an invitation Barbershops can be intimidating for some people to walk in if they don't know anybody. So by giving them a card and inviting them, and I'm not saying just passing out cards like, come check me out, dog, come check me out, dog, come check me out, dog. No, I mean actually talking to people. So try it out let me know.